What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to this episode of Restorations with Vic. Today we have a very special guest, Master of Soul Swaps, John Manolo. What's up you guys? My name is John Manolo. I'm from the Bay Area. What to do, boo? Hey! What we're gonna be working on today are the 2003 Air Jordan 3 White Cements. These shoes are super cooked. They need a soul swap. John, what else are we gonna do to these shoes? We're gonna be doing a back tab swap, a midsole swap, a whole life swap, man. A whole resurrection on these guys, man. A whole deep clean on the uppers. Make sure we deep clean the elephant print. And make them look brand smacking you again. In other words, a lot of work. So, let's get started. The very first thing we're gonna do is put that shoe to the side since we're gonna be working on the left shoe for before and after purposes. Next, real quick, we're gonna remove our laces and insole. That's all good to go. Let's pass them over to John. All right guys, so the first step what we have to do is to remove the stitching on the toe cap. So once that's removed, we separate the rubber sole from the upper and then Vic will take the rubber sole and deoxidize the whole rubber sole to make it look brand smacking new again. Multitask. All right, so since these shoes are from 2003, a faster way of removing the rubber soles from the uppers is to separate it a little bit from the, the toe cap area. And then just use an X-Acto knife to cut through the thread in between the elephant print and the rubber sole. But you wanna be careful because this, this rubber is very delicate right now. You can see the original elephant print color, bro. Look how great that is, man. <laughs> this thing is brown. Sheesh. All right, you guys, now that the uppers have been fully separated, I'm gonna hand down the rubber sole to Vic so he can work on those. All right, John, so what I'm gonna do next is remove these big chunks of midsole. There's a lot of little pieces stuck on the sole. So using acetone and cotton balls, we're gonna wipe all that stuff off. All right, while Vic is working on that, I'm gonna separate these as donors. These are a lot more easier to remove. Oh, butter. All right, these mantles are glued onto the soil pretty good. I'm gonna go to the sink, run some hot water on them so it can come right off. All right guys, so in order to separate the donors, I am gonna pour acetone inside of the shoe. I swirl it all around, make sure it gets on every square inch, and just let it sit. So you want the adhesive to be eaten away from the acetone. All right, so now, after we let it sit, we're gonna peel off the uppers like a banana split. I'm just searching for like the weak points and attack that first. All right, so now that we have the uppers separated from the donor, we're gonna separate the rubber soles. But I just wanted to show you guys how to separate the uppers. We already have the donor separated. And this one's good to go. So far, so good. We got the majority of the old mantles off the soles. What we gotta do next is finish up the prepper using acetone and cotton balls, wearing gloves. God damn, what the Vic's wearing gloves? John's contagious. <laughs> All right, so while Vic is working on the rubber sole, 
I'm gonna put these donors away, work on them later. And we're gonna focus on the uppers on the white cement threes. So the first thing we're gonna do is insert these shoe trees before the cleaning. Using Rejuvenator products. Now we're good to go. So now we're gonna be using the soft bristle brush first. All right guys, so now that the elephant print is fully cleaned, I'm gonna switch to the medium bristle brush to lather up the leather. All right guys, so now that the uppers have been pre-treated, I'm not gonna use a stiff bristle brush yet because Vic is working on the soles right now but I will bag them up and throw them in the washer. All right, y'all, let's toss these guys in the washer. Oh, shoot, I didn't even see you there. All right, well, while you're here, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shoes in the washer. We're gonna make sure to have one ounce of our advanced sneaker laundry system detergents. Make sure it's up to the line. I normally put 50 of these just because I work with Hella Muddy Shoes. So we're gonna put one ounce for these guys since they're not that bad. And we're gonna put them over here. And we're gonna make sure that we put it in a normal cycle with cold water. Okay. And then normal. And how's it called? Cold. cold. Sole is fully prepped. While John is out there putting the shoe in the washing machine, I'm gonna apply Salon Cap 40 and Saran Wrap to the sole so we can put them in the sun, bring them back, and get them back to that brand new white. Those are fully deoxidized, there it did go. Originally I was gonna do the cleaning, but since all the cleaning stuff's on John's side, we're gonna let him take care of it so I can take a little break. <laughs> all right, I'll show you guys how a real professional cleans these rubber soles, all right? So I'm gonna take some rejuvenated product, put them in here again, and I'm gonna just scrub a dub dub them away. All right, you guys, Vic is still on break. He didn't think I'd finish these up as fast as I thought I could. So right now we're just gonna work on the donor midsoles. So this is a donor that we worked off camera to save time. The shoe that I showed you guys pouring acetone, it's just to demonstrate how to remove the uppers. All right, so before Vic gets back, I'm gonna start prepping the midsole by removing all of the factory glue on the top and on the bottom. All right guys, one, one tip. If you're not familiar with a drill bit or how to, how to use a Dremel tool, make sure to get the one with an adjustable speed. The one that I got the first time, there's only two speeds, or I think it was one speed. Um, it was at the highest setting and I messed up a lot of insoles. So you wanna make sure you get the one that, that has an adjustable speed so you can uh, make sure that you don't damage the, the edges of the midsole when you're removing all of that factory glue. All right. All right guys, I am back, break is over. I got the shoe at the washing machine, fully dried. John, nice job with this cleaning, dude. Got the leather back to white, sock liners are back to white as well. 
This shoe's fully disinfected, all cleaned up inside and out using our three brush advanced laundry system and our detergent. So what I gotta do next on the shoe is remove the remaining midsole off the sole, off the shoe. It's not a sole, there's no sole. So remove the remaining crumbled midsole off the shoe. All right, so while he's doing that, I wanna prep the midsoles even more because each time Jordan releases a retro, it's gonna be different from the last time it's been retroed. So these 2003 soles are a little bit shorter than the midsole donor. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit off top so everything lines up perfectly. If you guys are gonna do this, please be very careful with your hands. You don't wanna cut yourself. Keep going back and forth until you get the proper dimensions of the donor to the rubber sole. All right guys, now that we have the midsoles fully prepped and the rubber soles fully prepped, I'm gonna start gluing them together now. But before we do that, I wanna make sure that there's no contaminants, there's no oils from our fingertips that are lingering on, the, on both sides of the, the two pieces. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use cotton balls and acetone just to give them a thorough clean. Uh, so right now I'm just gonna tape up areas I don't want glue on. So I'm just gonna tape up areas where you're gonna paint the midsole. Just so we get a nice sharp line of, of the glue. Just only on these two edges right here. And so when you put it together, that's where it ends on both sides. So it's perfect. All right, I'm gonna start applying the glue now. All right, you guys, the glue is perfectly cured. I let it cure for about 20, 25 minutes just to make sure everything's settled. So now what we need to do to activate the glue is heat. So without the heat, these won't bond together. So now I'm gonna use a blow, blow gun, <laughs> a heat gun, and I'm gonna heat it up and bond them together. So are you just gonna glue the back part and then work your way up? Yeah, so I'm just gonna glue the heel first and then work my way up. Let me see if it's tacky. Sometimes it's too hot, so that's why it's like webbing like that, that means it's too hot. Okay, cool down for a second. Yeah. So I'm just gonna stay still like a statue until it cools down a little bit. That, that, my friends, is how you glue the rubber sole to the midsole. I still have to clamp it together, and I'll show you guys after. <laughs> That's all I gotta say. Bellissimo. It's beautiful, dude. All right, you guys, now that the midsoles and rubber soles have been fully clamped together, I'm just gonna put them to the side and let it fully cure overnight. While John was doing that, I removed all the old midsole from the shoe. This shoe's fully prepped. Since he's done with that, he's not doing anything. He's gonna work on the back tabs. All right, so the first step into working, working on the... <laughs> all right, so the first step onto working onto the back tabs is I'm gonna tape up the elephant print um, so I can only expose the stitching. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how to preserve the stitching yet. So right now we're gonna do a simulated stitch. So I'm gonna cut through the elephant print to remove the original tab, take it out while preserving the original stitching. 
So right now I'm going to lay down adhesive on the existing thread that you see on elephant print. So after we do that, let it cure. I'm going to cut the thread that's holding the back tab, but also underneath the elephant print. So we want all we want to do is just preserve the stitching on the elephant print so it's more of a simulated stitch at this point. After that, we just want to take the tape off slowly so we don't rip off any of the elephant print. We let this sit overnight, now it's time to take care of the back tabs. While he's doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and strip the midsoles using acetone and cotton balls. Mitzels are fully prepped, they're buttery smooth. The next step I gotta do to get them ready for the repaint is to tape up the upper of the midsole and soles. All right, so while he's doing that, I'm gonna use a Dremel tool to shave the leather part of the back tab so when we glue our back tabs together, it's gonna bond perfectly. So as Vic is working on the midsoles, I'm gonna start installing back tabs, but instead of the classic Jumpman tabs on the O3, we're gonna put a Nike Air tab instead. All done taping up this midsole, let's lay down our paint. We'll be using this off-white pre-mixed color. I used white, a little bit of yellow, and brown. We'll use my airbrush. All right guys, so while Vic is doing that, what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna tape up the back tab because it's too white for the age of the shoe and the leather's already dingy. Uh, it's already aged. So what I want to do is I want to cover up the whole tab with tape and Vic is going to airbrush this back tab to like an off-white color to match the edge of the shoes. Mitchells are fully painted. What I got to do next is tape off the white so we can lay down our black. John, where are you at right now? So the tabs have been fully taped up around the corners so I don't get any excess spray on the leather or elephant print. So now I've already sprayed a little bulldog on the back tab so when I airbrush it, it's not gonna come off easily. So now we're gonna switch seats so I can airbrush the back tabs. That stuff stinks, dude. Why'd you spray it? <laughs> it smells elegant to me, bro. Oh wow, it looks way better. I think this is good to go, man. So this is the original tabs color. 
it's a little too white for the age of the shoe. So that's when we added the aged white to match more. You can see the dinginess of the color. I should do that again. All right, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna start painting the lettering on these tabs black while Vic hits these mentholes with black paint. Lay that black paint down. Mantles are fully painted, tabs are fully painted and touched up. We're gonna go ahead and give these to John. Like I mentioned earlier, I've never done a soul swap before, so I'm just gonna sit back and learn from the master. All right, so the first things first we gotta do, make sure our glue is ready. Just wanna shake it, shake it like peanut butter, make sure everything is good in there. And then what we're gonna do is lay a thin layer of glue all around the sole, and then we're gonna tape up the uppers and then lay a thin layer of glue where it contacts the midsole, all right? All right, we're done. <laughs> That's it. I also, while this is cured, I'm gonna tape up the shoes to prep them out. I also, while this is curing, I'm gonna tape the shoes so I can prep them. All right, guys, so now that the uppers have been fully taped up, I'm just gonna apply a little bit of glue on the edges and on the bottom of the, of the shoe, which is the fabric material, and then lay it on top after I heat it all up. Just gonna apply some glue. And then get my, all right, get the heat gun. All right, so now that bow ties are heated up, I'm just going to bond them together now. Are you gonna start from the back? Or front? From the front. All done gluing the missiles to the uppers. This restoration is pretty much almost done. John did a phenomenal job getting this shoe fully glued up. Alignment's on point, no glue where there shouldn't be. The whole time he was doing it, I was watching over his shoulder, getting some nice tips for future restorations. The last step I gotta do before I give it back to John so he can wrap it up, is to touch up the leather using some white paint and an angular brush. Like it never happened. Damn, dude. Good job, man. It's like that thing wasn't even there before. That can never happen. Sheesh. All right, guys, so the shoe is pretty much almost done. All we gotta do now, is stitch up the toe cap. If you guys wanna learn how to stitch the toe cap, you, can guys, you guys can go to my channel. I have a dedicated video on how to stitch the toe cap. It is a pretty lengthy process, so you guys should check out that video. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna insert the sewing all. So this is the tool that I'm gonna be using. And this thread, it's, it's a thicker thread than what you can get at, uh, what's it called, like Michael's? Yeah. 
So if you want to look this up online, it's called T270. I think that's the size of the thread because you want it you want it pretty thick. So I take my secondary bit. All right, guys, that's gonna bring us to an end on this full restoration of these 2003 white cement threes. These shoes were obviously super beat up. It was missing a whole midsole, but me and John, we brought them back to life. We're gonna let John break down exactly what we did to make this happen. So we did a full upper clean on the upper leather using a full rejuvenator kit. We did a full midsole swap, a back tab swap, and touched up the leather scuffs that were around the shoe. Hey, I just want to give a big shout out to JSO Colleges for providing these tabs. Without his work, we would have never completed this project. Also, if you guys want to give me a follow on my YouTube channel, follow me on John Manalo. If you guys enjoy these types of videos where I do soul swaps, and also do other types of restorations as well. He does some good work. Make sure to check him out. I want to give you a big shout out, dude, and a big thank you for coming out, yeah, for helping me out this restoration. I would have not done it without you. Learned a lot of good information that I'll be implementing in my future videos. Thanks, dude. Yeah, so man. make sure to stay tuned to our channel because we got influencers coming out all month. New content your way. This is Vic Almighty and John Manolo. We'll see you guys next time. Right. Peace.